Hey guys, Dan Dan the Craft Beer Man back at it again with a new brew review for you. So today I have a golden ale from Assault Spring Island Ales, also known as Golf Island uh, Ales or Golf Island Brewery. Um, of course, they're on Salt Spring Island, uh, established 1998. This particular beer is a 5% ABV and a 12 IBU. A little bit about Salt Spring Island Ales. They are considered a cottage brewery. Their beer is fresh, unpasteurized, no preservatives, no chemicals. They use gorgeous mountain spring water and all their ingredients, if not most, are organic. Their beer is handmade and made in small batches. They have everything from porters to bitters to goldens to heathers to IPAs to winter ales to rye IPAs, ambers, box, groots, nettles, and a raspberry wheat, not to forget a awesome Earl Grey IPA and a stellar creme brulee vanilla stout. Those beers are wicked if you see them. Um, all right, so this particular beer is a, a golden, sometimes referred to as a blonde. They're generally easy drinking, low hop bitterness, light to medium body, low malt aroma, spicy to fruity esters. Uh, sometimes sugar is added to lighten the perceived body of these beers. Medium uh, sweetness, not bitter, usually uh, brilliantly clear. Sometimes um, has honey, fruit, or spices added after fermentation. Uh, generally low IBU, anywhere between 15 to 28. Um, <clears throat> all right, so the brewer's notes on this particular beer. Made with the finest organic Canadian uh, two-row barley and hops from Salt Spring Island and the Pacific Northwest, this highly drinkable session ale has a beautiful golden color, a distinct toasty and nutty flavor, and a crisp citrusy hop finish. Three-time National Gold Medal winner at Canadian Brewing Awards. Enjoy it with hard cheeses, goat cheeses, grilled meats, and fishes, pub fare, Mediterranean, and Asian dishes. All right, let's give this one a go. So this is a golden ale from Salt Spring Island Ale. Cheers. A little bit of malt on the nose. That is smooth. Um, reminds me very much of a lager. A really smooth lager. However, it does have um, a hoppy aftertaste, and um, yes, I, I'm I'm getting a little bit of that that citrus hops at the end. A lot of the uh, blondes or goldens that I've had don't have that hop finish, so this is kind of Kind of interesting, kind of <clears throat> uh, different. Um, this being a 12 IBU, um, <clears throat> that can fool you sometimes. An IBU can be really low and a beer can still be hoppy. An IBU can be super high and the beer is not hoppy at all. So um, don't be fooled by that. So sometimes you just got to try a beer and it's like, whoa, I like that. Or, whoa, I didn't like that. So... Um, <clears throat> so it's pretty light, pretty clean, very smooth, easy drinking, but definitely getting that hoppiness and that citrus finish. Um, I'm going to give this a 4.25 out of 5 for me. Um, generally I'm not a hoppy guy, uh, but this is pretty cool. It, yeah, it, it's like a like a lager cross between an IPA um, so if you're not a uh, an IPA guy if you're not even a lager person this might be a, a nice hybrid for you um, what would I personally pair this with uh, seafood shellfish whitefish sushi salads uh, Mediterranean dishes uh, creamy to herb dishes sweet to spicy dishes creamy cheeses pastas uh, chicken dishes so my recommendations for food isn't that far off from theirs. Uh, again, theirs were hard cheeses, uh, goat cheeses, grilled meats, and fishes, pub fare, Mediterranean, 
and uh, Asian dishes. So we're not too far off from each other. So 4.25 for me. Don't take my word for it. Check it out for yourself. Um, I believe I picked this up because, you know, taking a sip of beer is going to help my memory. <laughs> um, I think I picked this up at the government liquor store at Burns at Market Crossing, or it could have been at um, Kingsgate or Highgate Mall um, government liquor stores, but uh, any of those have a great selection of beer, um, and Salt Spring Island is definitely bumping up uh, production and um, uh, expanding locations where to access them. So um, they're definitely gaining popularity and I'm seeing more and more of their products uh, elsewhere. So that's great and good for them. Um, they're uh, not so uh, cottage brewery anymore. So, but maybe they're just choosing more wisely where they're going to be distributed. So anyways, <clears throat> uh, so Golden Ale, Salt Spring, Island Ales, fantastic little brewery. Um, this is a great beer, great for summer. We've been having some hot weather. This is fantastic for your patio, your deck, the beach, the lake, whatever, the cottage, um, all the, on the Gulf Island uh, or on Vancouver Island for sure. Um, but uh, just, just a really great, not a complex beer at all. Um, and uh, you know, if you're maybe not like lagers and don't like IPAs, this might be a nice hybrid in, in between beer for you. So check it out. So Golden Ale, Salt Spring Island Ales, 4.25 for me. Uh, don't take my word for it. Check it out for yourself. And uh, that's it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And remember, keep calm and drink craft beer. Cheers. Have a good night.